Hello everyone, welcome to the daily reading for Friday the 2nd of November 2018. My name is Alexandra, I hope you are well. Uh, as for the day, the sun is in Scorpio of course and the moon is in Leo. So that's the fire bell. But it will move to Virgo during the day. About 6 a.m. in the morning here where I live. Okay. So we are tuned to the reading. Today I'm going to use the beautiful Guardian Tarot by Beth Ceylonen. Ceylonen, yes, I'm right. It's a very specific deck. Some people say it's spooky. I don't find it like this. I think it's very profound. So I'm asking the universe, the source of everything, and the pure light to show us the way, to show us the energy for the day. For the 2nd of November 2018. I'm going to choose three cards as always. Which cards are they going to be? I think it's the first one. Sometimes it works like that. The second and the third. Okay. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What do we have? So we have Queen of Pentacles, we have Knight of Cups, and we have Queen of Swords. So we have two Queens and a Knight uh, in between. That's quite interesting. Let's take a closer look at the cards. They're quite large. So, okay, so, Queen of Pentacles is a fire element, sorry, the, the earth element, Knight of Cups is a water element, and Queen of Swords, looking towards the soul, is the air element, so connected with the mind. Okay, so when I look at these cards, I think it's a... Uh, it's a great day to ask yourself about your place in life and whether whether you're acting towards the greatest good of all creatures, of all beings. Um, in this deck, some, some cards have quite a different meaning than in the usual one. First we have Queen of Pentacles and the central thing happening here is that she's looking in the eyes of the youth of the future generation as she's holding this youth she's searching for something in uh, in his or her eyes and she's seeing both the past the ancestors perhaps herself in those eyes but also the future of the world so question is about time. How do you see your future? Do you do you add whatever you have to add, your gift to the future? And what are you adding? What is that? What's your gift to the future generations? This question is especially important in the time where, when we more and more realize how much have we depleted the earth and how much our reflection and stopping in those drugs is needed in order to save the earth with all its abundance and with all creatures living on it. So, 
ask yourself this question. What am I contributing? How am I contributing to the world and to the future generations? And you may have strange feelings about this. It's a very mysterious day, I think. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is someone who has deep feelings, perhaps not quite understandable, and perhaps sometimes not heard in a way they should be heard. But they are here, and you know that. And the more, the more you hear them, the more you should be aware of them. I mean, don't try to escape it. Don't try to cut yourself off it and uh, concentrate, for example, only on, on thoughts or on acting. Dive deep into your feelings and, and be aware of all different and sometimes strange and un unknown processes going on within you because all those feelings that are not easy to interpret are very important messages coming to you from the world and coming from you to yourself so tune yourself into signs and to feelings within you and finally, we have Queen of Swords overlooking this reading in a way. You can see the star in her eye. So she's looking at the cosmos. And she's on the brink of understanding it all. I don't know if you if you know the feeling. Sometimes I sometimes experience it. When I encounter, especially with the vastness of universe during the night, when I see the stars, when I see the beauty of nature, uh, when I see the, the greatness of the world, sometimes I have this feeling that I almost get it. I almost, it's not even about understanding because it's beyond understanding. It's something much bigger. It's like you... You feel a part of it and you feel that you are undividable from it and that it all happens outside of you but also inside of you. And when you grasp it, it's really not possible to describe it using words. But you have this feeling that there is a great cosmic master plan and that everything is going according to it and everything is in its place and you feel yourself within it. So that's what you may feel during that day. A very, very special day, I think. You may feel that you touch the universe with your thought, with your feeling, but also you co-create it with your expectation and with what you do to it as a queen of pentacles, the one who is incorporating things. Incorporating which means turning into real, turning into flash. Okay? So, I have this eerie feeling that you will be very, very close, we all, we'll be very close to the great mystery of the universe. And it's really up to us whether we, whether we are afraid of it or whether we appreciate it and uh, maybe even love the feeling of great mystery so close to us, so close to be understood but still escaping in a way, bigger than us. Something bigger than us appears in this reading. I'm going to choose one more card from Angels and Ancestors deck. Thank you very much.
No. No, it's okay. Trader again. Exchange energy to create abundance. This card appears quite often, I think. It's the second time that it appears in the reading, in daily readings, trader. Make connections and exchange information, talents or support. So it may be, I feel, that you may incorporate all these energies, but it also can be that it's a good time, it's a good a day to meet with others and exchange your feelings, your deeds and your thoughts about the world and together create this beautiful mixture that will all make you all wiser in a way and closer to this great mystery of the universe. It can, uh, as a result, give you uh, some insights or perhaps a boost of creativity and you will be able to add to the uh, already overwhelming abundance of the world but the world still needs you you are needed in the world feel it this day feel the world thank you very much and I hope this day is going to be very, very beautiful for all of us. Um, please like, share and subscribe if you want. And see you in next readings.